Welcome to our new electronic form system, Magnus Health. Magnus Health will now be the keeper of all required forms, such as immunization records, student questionnaires, Hickory Hill Academy authorizations, and the best part is, you can fill these forms out from the comfort of your own home. You can access Magnus Health one of two ways. The first is through your Blackboard parent portal. The second is through the Magnus Health app on your phone. First, we're going to show you how to access Magnus Health through your parent portal. Let's go to the login page for the parent portal. You can find it by going to Hickory Hill Academy's website and selecting the parent portal at the top. We have a test family for this instructional video, the friends family. Monica is the mom and Chandler is the dad. They are the parents of four children, Ross, Rachel, Phoebe, and Joey. For this example, we will be using Ross and Joey. Ross will be attending the Summer on the Farm program. Joey is almost three months old and is in the Early Childhood program. The first thing you will see is the resource board. At the top of the resource board, you will find a square titled Magnus Health Link. This will take you directly to Magnus Health without the need to log in, since you're already logged into your parent portal. Once you see Magnus Health show up on your screen, you will see your Magnus Health front desk and your child or children listed underneath. Next to each name, you will see the words, you have requirements to complete on your to-do list. Select a child to begin. Again, for this example, we'll be using Ross and Joey. The first step is to fill out the conditional questions. You'll need to select yes or no for each of these statements. This will assign you the appropriate requirements for your child. This is dependent on their age and what program they are enrolled in. Next, mom, Monica, will need to fill out seven different requirements in order for Ross to start summer on the farm. The first date of attendance at Hickory Hill Academy, vital health record, school age questionnaire, and Hickory Hill Academy authorizations are all electronic forms that she will need to fill out and sign. All electronic forms will have the orange button, fill it out next to it. She will also need to turn in an immunization form, which she can either submit by downloading a form and filling it out or uploading one from their doctor's office. She can select the paper icon to download the form needed directly to her computer. The last requirements Monica has to complete is your guide to regulated childcare and extended care registration form. Both of these items are yes and no answers. The Guide to Regulated Child Care is something we are required to provide from the Wisconsin Department of Children and Families for our early childhood and summer on the farm families. Please read it through and once you have, please select yes to show that you have read it. If you plan to enroll your child in extended care, please select yes to the question, are you enrolling your child in extended care? This will take you to the required form for that. If you aren't planning to enroll your child in extended care, simply select no and confirm your answer to move on. At the top of Ross's student health tracker, you will see the due date along with the tracker summary, which will show you what percentage of requirements you have completed. Now, let's take a look at Joey's example. I wanna show you what a completed form looks like, what a completed but pending for school approval looks like, a completed and totally approved until a certain date, and what a rejected form looks like. Once all of your requirements have been completed, Hickory Hill Academy's Registrar and Wellness Coordinator will review them and make sure everything has been filled out correctly. If your form has been rejected, you will receive an email notifying you of that. You will need to log in to Magnus Health to update it accordingly. Now, Hickory Hill Academy's Wellness Coordinator will go into further detail about the health forms that you'll see in the requirement library and why they are requirements. Every child will need to have an immunization record or waiver on file. To upload your child's immunization records, you simply click here on the Turn It In button. Magnus Health will ask you, have you already obtained and completed the immunization form? If you already have a copy of your child's immunizations, you can simply upload a copy of this by clicking Yes, Submit. 
Here, then you click on Upload and upload your document directly onto Magna's Help. If you do not have a copy of your child's immunization record that can be uploaded, you will need to click No, Download My Form. This will automatically download a copy of the state's immunization form along with a list of the required immunizations for the state of Wisconsin. You will need to print out this form, input your child's immunizations, and then upload the document. This is also the form you will need to complete if you are choosing to complete a waiver for any vaccine. Please print off the state required form and upload a signed copy of this. If you have any questions about which vaccines your child has received, please reach out to their pediatrician. If your child is under five years old, you will need to submit a child health report for them. This form is completed by your child pediatrician at every well child appointment they have. It must be signed by a provider. If your child is under two years of age, this form is renewed every six months. And once your child turns two, it is completed every two years until they are five years old. This is a Wisconsin state regulated form. To complete your child health report, start by clicking here on the Turn It In button. Magnus Health will once again ask, have you already obtained and completed the child health report? If you have a copy of your child's health report, you can upload a copy of this by clicking Yes Submit. Here, you can then click on Upload and upload the document directly onto Magnus Health. If you do not have a signed copy of your child's health report, you will need to click on No, Download My Form. This will automatically download a blank copy of the state's child health report. You will need to communicate with your child's pediatrician to get this form completed and signed. Again, this form must be signed by your child's provider. Please note that this is a state-regulated form and must be submitted within 90 days of your child's enrollment. Now, let's take a look at how this works on the mobile app. To start, you will need to log into Magnus Health at your desktop to set the username and password you would like to use for the Magnus Health app. Once logged in, you will see New Magnus Health mobile app in orange next to your name. Hover your mouse over that area and you will see a drop down menu appear. Select Change Credentials. This will not affect anything you do when logging in through the parent portal at your desktop. This is solely for when you log in using the app on your mobile device. Once your credentials are changed, search for Magnus Health in the App Store on your phone, download and then log in with the username and password that you created. Once logged in, you will see your children or students listed below. Next to each of their names, you will see how many to-dos are left to do. You can also update any area if something happens to change with anything you filled out previously for your child. For example, if your child had an egg allergy and now has developed a cashew allergy, you can add that information from your mobile device. Thank you so much for watching. Please contact us with any questions.